Harper right, on at Boston College uh, coming up Thursday night. Uh, you missed the game the last time with the ankle injury. How, how do you prepare for this game without having uh, gotten to play in it last time around? Well, I, I learned a lot just watching on the sidelines last game. So I think I can come in and do what I need to do just sit by sit, sitting on the sideline, looking at their scheme. So I feel like I'm a little bit prepared, yeah. Was that a, a weird atmosphere for you? Because you don't get to play for one, but at the same time it was kind of cool because your, your sister got to start her first career game. Yeah, it was it was weird because I'm not really on the bench at all, really. But then, like, when I saw Bree out there playing really good, I was just like, well, it felt really good, really. All right, take me back to Sunday. It was a struggle for you guys for most of that game before being able to put them away. What happened down the stretch to finally get you guys that win? We just hustled. Like, I think we hustled the whole game. We just weren't making shots, but we were really hustling and playing hard, and I think that that's what made us pull it out at the end. How'd you guys avoid frustration that could easily could have set in at certain points of that game? Well, we just had to keep positive with each other, just remind each other like we have to win this game and being encouraging. I think that's what really helped us. You came out with a big start. I think you had six rebounds by the first time out of the game. Ended up with uh, another double double for yourself. What's the drive like at this point of the season to have an effort like that? And you can certainly see the finish line at least to the regular season coming. I just want to finish hard. You just always want to finish strong. I'm like that's why I had the mentality I have, just finishing strong and playing hard as I can. With Boston College, even though you didn't play, the team has played them. And then Pitt's coming up next. You guys also played and beat. How do you handle a week like this where it's two teams that you know well from having played them already? Well, I mean, we know them well. Like, we just can't take it off. Like, we have to play this game like any other game. because Just because we beat them doesn't mean we can slack off. We have to keep playing hard because at this point, anyone can be beat. So we just have to play hard and get the win. What's the emphasis on finishing the regular season out strong when you know the ACC tournament's coming up? Well, we have to finish out strong because we're going to try to go down there and win the whole ACC tournament. So we just have to get these last couple wins under our belt, and we'll be good. All right, good note to add on. We'll see you tomorrow night. Thank you. Uh, Alexis, uh, take me back to Sunday. There's about four minutes left. You guys are down by seven. What's mm -hmm. the thought at that point, and how'd you finish as strong as you did? Um, well, we never got down on ourselves. Um, we were competing hard the whole game. You know, obviously we missed a few shots that we normally make. So um, we always felt like we were in the game, and we never wanted to stop competing. And we played hard. We stuck together as a team, and ultimately pulled it out. I think you're right on that because we never saw the frustration when you're playing a team that you think you should beat and they've got you most of the game. But how would you avoid that ever really negatively affecting you during the game? Um, well, like I said, um, we've been there before. So we know like we're capable of coming back and uh, finishing out a game. So I think, you know, with those big threes from Butler, it, it really gave us confidence, got us going. And we got a few steals and got a few stops. So we knew we were always right there. We just needed that one or two plays to, to really break us through. Yeah, you mentioned the two big plays there. Bree hit the two big ones late, including the one that got you the lead. It, it, it felt almost like once you had the lead, even though it was just a couple points, then you guys weren't giving it up at that point. Yeah, definitely. Um, I felt like once we got on top, I felt like we had worked so hard to get to that point that we weren't going to let them come back and get back in the game. How do you guys attack this week? Because with Boston College and Pitt here back to back, it's two teams you've both played and beaten on the road. How do you keep it going so you can do it again here at home? Um, I think we just stay in the right mindset. We just come out with the, the same frame of mind that we've had the first time we played them, knowing that they're going to come out, they're going to compete hard, they're going to play us, they're going to give us their best game. And I think we just have to come out and be ready and come out with a lot of energy and effort. Something to finishing the season strong, at least the home portion of the season, because these are your last two games in the Dome this year? Yes. Um, we're excited. Uh, you know, season's been a long season, so we look forward to finishing and defending our home court um, in these last two games. And you're one of the teams you mentioned a long season. You did not get a bye during this season. You're getting yours as the, the last weekend of the conference season. Has it worn you on at this point, or how have you guys pushed through and kept the energy up? Um, I think we just just keep pushing forward, just knowing that, you know, that last week is coming. So um, we accepted the challenge, and I think we've, we've done it so gracefully. So. I think we're excited for it. All right, Alexis, we'll see you tomorrow night. Thank you. Appreciate it.